Hello, my name is LaShonda Ruffin, and I wrote a poem originally from my grandfather who passed away back in June. And I tweaked the poem just a little bit to address my uncle Russa Curry, who passed away um, last Sunday. So I'm going to start off by giving you the title of the poem, which is One Life to Live, Let It Go. And I think the title says a lot about um, One Life to Live, Let It Go read between the lines. So I'm going to start off by saying, what is family? Family is defined as a descendant of a common ancestor. This man, this husband, this uncle, this brother lives in all of us. This means that a piece of him is in all of us. The blood that once flowed in his veins now flow in ours or has always flowed in ours. One like to live, let it go. We are all family and so much more alike than we are different. Some of us have the same smile, the same laugh, the same walk, the same talk. You wouldn't even know. You get the point. One like to live, let it go. Family should be our safe haven, but more often than not, it's the place where we find the deepest disappointments. One of the toughest decisions we ever face in life is choosing whether to walk away from family or try harder to build relationships within it. One life to live, let it go. Just as the moon goes through its phases, so does family over the course of time. We have endured and will endure different phases of life. So I speak from my heart when I say, that through Christ, hardship, marriage, birth, and even death, there are opportunities for families to come together, help each other out, and survive the wax and waning of the different phases that life brings. One life to live, let it go. So I say to you, to my great uncle, um, Uncle Russa Curry, up in heaven high above, I know today and always, you, you'll, you're with us all, smiling and sending your love. Today we celebrate your life in remembrance of you. Today we say our last goodbye. Although Psalms 90.10 states the years of our life are 70 and even by reason 80, we had you for 89 years when so many have had so much less. One life to live, let it go. I say to you, we all have a beginning and an ending. It's all in God's hands. Therefore, let your time on earth be meaningful, significant, and joyful. It's great to say, it's great for the soul to say, I love you, I forgive you, I'm sorry. One life to live, let it go. When you were born, you cried and the world rejoiced. Live your life in a manner that when you die, the world cries and you rejoice. Let's rejoice. One life to live, let it go. Great uncle, this is your time. The angels have descended upon you to place you with the best. Although you're no longer here, you'll always be in my heart forever. I will be celebrating our birthday, 9.30. So I say to your face today, happy birthday. One life to live, let it go. So I challenge all of us today and beyond to start with the simple word, hello. Hello, my dear Aunt Mary. You are the epitome of a great wife, friend, and a confidant. You held on to your vows for 66 years until death did you part. Aunt Mary, you're not alone. He'll always be with you. One life to live, let it go. Thank you. Thank you. Give me a hug. <laughs> that was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. I know he loved it. Yeah, you bless my, my, you bless my heart with that, man. And you said my good That's me. That's my because yeah. you have to feel, you just, you didn't have it. Like, 
he really is my dad. You wanted to say he's really my daddy, but I got one of them, but he... Grandpa. I could, I could tell. Yeah. I could yeah. tell. Yeah, yeah. And I know. He probably did something special for you, too. Don't tell it all. Because you're going to make something... He ain't got nobody to make mad, don't do it. <laughs> see how... The, see how God do it? Oh, that's a good take. That's a good take. I'm not... I'm, it's from the heart. I'm not going to have you pretend. All right, no. so I'm, I'm going to give you my number. So you can, um, Send it to you. 